Hey there everyone. Now in this video we will learn about full text search. So for that I have created a controller which is search products and in the routes. So if you go to the routes we have this route of slash search. So the route will look something like this. So it will be slash search question mark q is equal to and the string that you want to search. So Q did like Q stands for query here. So in the production, like the best practice, or you can see the convention that we use is question mark Q is equal to and then the search term. So this is what we will follow. Now uh, to get started with this, uh, first let's go to the full text search documentation. So it's a still a preview feature. So there are steps to enable that. So first we have to add these lines full text search. Now uh, before you move to implementing the full text search, now first understand what full text search means. Now in the conventional databases like the relational databases, you can search on a single column. So for example, in the schema.prisma, for the products, we have couple of columns here, name, description, price, tags, and all these things. So in a conventional search, either you can search using the name column. So in uh, like the SQL, you have seen that keywords like like or contain something like that so either you can search using a single column but there is no way where we can see if the keyword exists in multiple columns so full text search enables us the capability to search across multiple columns in the same table so now like now we get what the full text search is let's enable this so this is for postgresql and this is for mysql so for mysql you have to add these two things as a preview feature so let's copy this and go to the schema.prisma and in the client add this. Now after this we have to run prisma generate so npx so that it can fetch the required things for us. Okay now you can see that it was successful. Now in order to enable this uh, for the products we have to add an index as well. So in the products we will say add at full text search and here we have to list all the columns uh, that we want to perform like through which we want to search a given keyword. So we will say name and we'll say description and then we'll say tag. So in these three columns, we want to search a given query. So now it's done. We need to gen like, uh, generate the migration as well. So we will say npx prisma migrate dev add full text search yeah so it was generated successfully now uh, it says already in sync because I have tried few things before so mine was already there so for you if you will try it on a new project or this one only it will say the migration was generated successfully now let's run the server again npm start now let's go to the controller so the end controller uh, what you will say is const products is equal to await prisma client dot product dot find many inside find many we have to give a where clause and for where clause, uh, the fields that we have defined in the full text search here, we have to give all the all these fields inside the where clause separately. So if you go into the documentation and scroll to the indexes, you can see that if we have defined the full text search on content that title, we have to give both these fields. So and it says, however, if you will try to search on title alone, the search will fail. So if you say, if it's saying that if only content is given and you skip the title, so it will fail. So we have to define all these three here. So go to the controller and first we will say name. We will say search request dot query dot q. And let's do this to two string because somehow it was giving an error so it will work now we will like convert everything to string same goes for title sorry description and same goes for 
tags. So this is how it works. Now in response.json, we will say products. So products. Now uh, let's give it a try. In Postman, I have already created a search product route. So it's product slash search. And the query which I am given is, let's say, cotton. So let's hit send. So there are a couple of products here. And if I search the word cotton, you can see for the first, it is present in name in description also. In the second, it's also present in name. But in third, you can see that it's not present in name, but it's present in description. So as you can see that, and same for the last one as well. So you can see that it's performing the search across multiple columns. So that's what we need. So yeah, that's how full text search works. And let me know if you have any doubts and try to implement on your own. And just for an assignment, implement, implement pagination here. So just complete this, finish this. And yeah, so we have all the routes in place now. Now let's see you in the next section.